Throw us a refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. My soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, in you is the wellspring of life, and in your light we shall see light. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. To today has salvation come to the world. Let us sing to the author of our lives who is risen from the grave. For by vanquishing death by death, he has given us victory and great mercy. If glory so despota, if glory mani vasilia tu patros, que tu iu, que tu iu pnevmatos, Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the awe of God, let us pray to the Lord. I have said Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Bishop Elpido Fordos, the Honorable Presbyters, the Diaconate, and the Service of Christ, of all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Our country, the President, all those of public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. The Holy and Great Church of Christ, our sacred archdiocese, this parish and city and every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord <laughs> travelers by land by sea and by air for the sick the suffering the captives and for their salvation 
Let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remember our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And forget not all as we was through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, Savior. Oh, this praise be as this day of thy crown, shall the joy shine Etiquette <laughs> Meta Panton ton Ioni Mones Sandes, Eyev Tutske Ali Luz, Kepa Santin Zuini Mon Cristo Toteo Parathomatha, Shikiri Otison to Kratos, Gesuesini Vasilia, Ke Dinamis Ke Doxa, Tu Patros Ke Tu Yu, Ke Tu Yu Pnevmatos, Minke Ahi, Ke Istu Seonas, To Neono. Amen. Eni psichi mu tangiri on ene shakiri on en di zai mu psalod do te omio si parkon. Shai shani ma si ete um o anasta se negron. Shalom, Dios, y aleluya. Yes, it is he whose hope is in the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord. His God is the Savior. the Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, aleluya. Shall I O mono yenisi oske logos tu deun, Athana nusi parkon, Ke grata dexamen nus di atini meteran sonirian, Sarko tiene, Ektisa hias teodokum, Ke ai parthenu marias, Atreptos en antromisos, Stavrothis te Christe o Theos, Thanatos, Thanaton patisos, Iesun, Tis aias triados, Sin doxazomenos to patri, Que to aio plematim, Son, son imas. 
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remember, our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you do we give glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Don't sin on our con long on Patrick of Namadin. Don't make for sun, don't take sun, not it shunt it any more. On him, and fish take a brush in his man. What if the says, are Unnelthin and Deutsch, the Reuters are not the Nippomenon. A year at which that now does, and the end of so Anastasia too. Sophia, Sing a hymn of praise and worship to the Lord God, who is co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, who was born of the Virgin for our salvation. Of his own will he went upon the cross in the flesh, suffered death who raised the dead, through his glory is resurrection. And she met the dark reward, the assurance in the God, he called La voice I got at on Stavron, he called the sight of Christ, can pride to serve the Eidos Kings, he peror on Mendes Arcos, but er can they are repimelisted themselves. Pragmatos Athanadum, the old Kemeta Angel on Sinagalete, or Sia Maria Topna Masu. protection of Christians unshameable that never fails, intercessor to our holy maker, we the sinners beg of you, do not turn away from the voices of our
Haiti, but implore you, quickly come to our aid when we cry out to you with faith. Hasten to intercede and speed to supplicate, O Theotokos, those who protect now and ever honor you. Prostasia ton Christia non acades inde, Messitia proston pitina metathete, Mi parivi samartolo eise on fonas, Alla prothasonos agathi, Istin voithi animon, Ton pistos kravgazon don si, Tachy don is presvian, Is pefson is ikesian, I prostate vusai. Se oi toi get on the morn don se. For you are holy, O Lord our God, and to you do we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And to the ages of ages. Σε βρέου σε μισθολή σπαύλου του αλλαγνωσμού. Ο Θεό 
αδελφοί, Χριστός παραγενόμενος αρχιερές των μελώντων αγαθών, δια της μίζωνος και τελειωτέρα ασχηνής, ου χειροποιήτου τούτου εις την ούτα αυτής της θύσεως, ουδέ διέματος τράγων και μόσχων. Διά δε του ιδίου αίματος, εις ήρθεν εφάπαξ εις τα Άγια, αιωνίαν λύτρος είναι βράμενος. Ήγα το αίματαύρον και τράγων, και σφαδός δαμάλαιος ραντίζουσα τους και κινωμένους, αγιάζει προς την δυσαρχός καθαρότητα. Πόσο μάλλον το αίμα του Χριστού, ως δια πνεύματος αιωνίου εαυτόν προσύνεγγεν αμωμόν το Θεόν, καθαρή τη συνείδησιν ημών από νεκρόν έργον εις το λατρεύειν. Το Θεό ζωνή. You, O Lord, shall keep us and preserve us. Save me, O Lord, for the godly man has failed. The reading of St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, taking not the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For a sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flood, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, Purify your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. To cut a mark on to a you of Angelo to an agnos Το καιρό εκείνο παραλαμβάνει ο Ιησούς του δώδεκα μαθητές αυτού και ήρξα το αυτής λέγει τη μέλλοντα αυτό συναβαίνει ότι ειδού αναβαίνομεν εις Ιεροσόλυμα και ο Υιός του ανθρώπου παραδοθήσεστε της αρχιερεύσει και γραμματεύσει και κατακρινούσιν αυτόν θανάτο και παραδόσουσιν αυτό της έθνεσι και μπέτσουσιν αυτό και μαστιγώσουσιν αυτό και εμπτήσουσιν <coughs> αυτό και αποκτενούσιν αυτό και τη τρίτη ημέρα αναστήσεστε και προσευρα προσπορεύονται αυτό ο Ιωακώβος και Ιωάννης η γη Ζεφεδαίου λέγοντες διδάσκαλα θέλω με ίνα ο εάν ετήσομεν ποιήσεις ημίν ο δε είπεν αυτής τι θέλετε ποιήσε με ημίν ή δε υπόν αυτό Δώσ' ημιν ένα εις την δεξιόν σου και ήξε ευωνύμων σου καθίσωμεν εν της δόξης σου. Ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτής ουκ είδε τα τέτεθε. Δυνάστε ποιήν του ποτήριον, ποτήριον ο εγώ πίνω και του βάπτισμα ο εγώ βαπτιζόμαι, βαπτιθήνε. 
ο δε είπων αυτό δυνάμεθα ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτής το μεν ποτήριον ο εγώ πίνω πίστε και το βάπτισμα εγώ βαπτιζω, βαπτίζω μεν βαπτιστήσεστε το δε καθίσε εδεξιών μου και εξενών νημών μου ούκ εστίν εγών δούνε αλ εις ητήμαστε και εικούσαν δε εσύ δέκα ήρξα το ανακαθήν περί Ιακώβου του Ιωάννου ο δε Ιησούς παρακαλεσάμενος αυτούς λέγει αυτής είδατε ότι δοκούν εν τες η Άρχιν των έθνων κατακριεύσου συν αυτόν και η μεγάλη αυτόν κατεξουσίαξου συν αυτόν ούκου το δέστε εν εμήν άλλος εάν θέλει γένεστε μέγας εν εμήν έστε ημών διάκονος και ως αν θέλει ημών γένεστε πρώτος Έστε πάντων δούλος και γάρο Υιός του ανθρώπου που κύλθε διακανωθήνε αλλά διακονήσε και δούνει την ψυχή αυτό λύτρον αντί At that time, Jesus taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, <coughs> saying, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will come, they will condemn him to death, and they will deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him, and they will spit upon him, and they will scourge him, and kill him, and after three days he will rise. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or to be baptized with the baptism which I am baptized? And they said to him, we are able. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but is for those for whom it was prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be indignant of James and John. And Jesus called them and said to them, You know that those who are supposed to rule over the Gentiles lord over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. For whoever of you would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be the slave of all. For the Son of Man also came not to serve, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And grant that always guarded by your power may give glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. <coughs> Thank you.
Очень круто.
Complete our prayer to the Lord. <coughs> For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the awe of God, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask of the Lord. And is the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guarding of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. And is the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. And is the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the whole world, let us ask of the Lord. And is the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. And is our Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. And is our Remembering our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ our God. Through you, O Sin tu panahio que agazo, que sopió su plevma tinin que ahí, que su seonas toneono. Ay, 
Aga pishman alilus, in an amoloia amoloisoman. Stiras, tastiras, and so fear proscomen. Pistevois en atheon, patera pandocratora, pitinura nuki isoraton de pandon keoraton, que senan kiruni sum Christon, donion to theuto monogeni, to tu patros genithenda pro pandon toneonon, fosak fotos, theon alithinon, ec theu alithinu, genithenda upithenda. O motion to patridu ta panda e geneton. Ton di mastus anthropus, ke diet in meteran sotirian, catelthonda ek ton uranon, ke sarcothenda ek memmatos aiu ke Marias tis parthenu ken anthropisanda. Stavrothenda te perimon epipondiu pilatu, ke pathonda ke ta fenda, ke anastata ti triti mera katas grafas, ke anelthonda isus uranus, ke kathezomeno dexion tu patros, και πάλι ερχόμενα μεταδόξεις, κρινεζώντας και νεκρούς, ούτης βασιλείας σου κέστε τέλος. Και στο πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωπιόν, το εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συμπατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον, το λαλίσαν διά των προφητών. Η Ισμίαν, Αγίαν, Καθολικήν και Αποσυλικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εμβάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, Προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and he suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come, amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskomen tina in anafaran, enerini prosferi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our Thanks unto the Lord. It is worthy, worthy and 
O Master, God, worshipful Father Almighty, is truly just and right to the majesty of your holiness, to praise you, to him, you, to bless you, to worship you, and give thanks to you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer to you this, our spiritual worship, with contrite hearts and humble spirit. For you have given us to know your truth, who is worthy to praise your mighty acts, or to make known all your praises, or to tell of all your wonderful deeds at all times. Master of all things, Lord of heaven and earth, and of every creature, visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of glory, and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal of revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light. Through whom the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of the sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification for all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you they stand, the, stand, the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two, they cover their faces. <coughs> with two, they cover their feet. With two, they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and never resounding praises. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Together with these blessed powers, loving Master, we sing also cry out to you, truly you are, truly you are holy and most holy, <coughs> and there are bounds to the majesty of your holiness. You are holy in all your works for the righteousness and judgment. You have ordered all things for us, for having made man by taking dust from the earth and having honored him with your own image, O God. You place him in the garden of delight, promising him eternal life, and the enjoyment of everlasting blessings and the observance of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God, who had created him, I was led astray by the deception of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgression. You, O God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of regeneration in your Christ. You did not forever reject your creature from whom you made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands, but because of your tender compassions, you visited him in various ways. You sent forth prophets, you performed mighty works, by your saints who in every generation have pleased you. You spoke to us by the mouth of your servants, the prophets, announcing to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law and to help us. You appointed angels and guardians. And when the fullness of the time came, <coughs> you spoke to us through your son himself, through whom you created the, all the ages. He being the splendor of your glory and the image of your, of, of your being, upholding all things by the word of his power, Thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God and the Father, but being God before all the ages, he appeared on the earth and lived with humankind. Becoming incarnate of a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our lowliness, that he might change us in the likeness and the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world and through sin death, it pleased your only begotten Son who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman of the Holy Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam might be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusion of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired for himself and his chosen people a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and having cleansed us by water and sanctification, and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself. He loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened the path for all, salva all flesh to the resurrection from the dead and salvation, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. <coughs> so he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. 
the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to their deeds. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to your commands and his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering you thanks, blessing, and sanctify it, he gave it to his holy as disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, and for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of wine, having mingled it, offered thanks, blessing, and sanctify it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Tuto esti to emamu, to tis genis diathikis, to hiperimon ke polon evkinomenon, is afesin amartion. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remember his saving passion and his life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension to heaven, and his enthronement at the right hand of God the Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming. Si prospero men catapanda ke diapandam. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Therefore, most holy master, we also, your sinful and worthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness. <coughs> we have not done anything good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth these symbols of, hol of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and may make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that which is in this cup, to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, shed for the life and the for salvation of the world. Amen, amen, amen. to judgment or condemnation, but that we may be found mercy and grace for all the saints who are from all ages, please, forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, and fathers, and patriots, evangelists, martyrs, professors, teachers, and every righteous spirit.
εξαιρετός της Παναγίας Αχράντων υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας. Thank you. 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 Remember, Lord, those who bear fruits in the works of the church and those who know the poor. Reward them with your great and happy gifts. Grant them in return for earthly things, heavenly gifts, for temporal, eternal, and corruptible. incorruptible. Remember, Lord, these who are in the desert, in the desert, in the mountains, in the caverns, in the chambers of the earth. Remember, Lord, those that are chastised and put in the house of the sons of holiness. Remember, Lord, this country and all those in public service, those who have loved the government on earth. Grant them to work to profound and lasting peace. Speak to their hearts with good concern of the church and all the people, whom the faith of all of their lives, the duty to their life, peace, their soul, lives, and abide in holiness. Sustain the good in their goodness, make their wicked, <coughs> make their wicked to do goodness. Remember, Lord, the people here present and all those absent from the cause. Have mercy on them and us according to the multi be mercy. Fill their treasuries with everything good, preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants, instruct the youth, strengthen the age, give courage to the faint-hearted, reunite those separated, bring back those in error, and unite them in your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, defend the widows, protect the orphans, liberate the captives, heal the sick. Remember those who are in mines and exile, and harsh labors and all those kinds of afflictions, necessity and distress. Those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy as you are. Remember, Lord, our, our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, Lord God of salvation, all those who are not remembered through our ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of a multitude of our sins. For you know the name of each of us, even from our mother's womb. For you are the Lord, the helper, the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of, of voyagers the physician of the sick, be all things to all people, you who know each person, his request, his household, and his need. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, from and every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, and the sword, from invasion of civil wars and all invasions. Above all, remember, O Lord, our God, o our Father, and Archbishop of Pithophoros. Grant them that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy unto length of days. Rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those who each of us cross the mind and all your peoples. Remember, Lord, our God, our bishops, all bishops, all bishops, all bishops. Remember, Lord, our God, all Orthodox bishops, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, our God, my unworthiness, and according to the multitude of your mercies, forgive every transgression. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Yes, that I lay to Megalu Theu Kisotiro Simon Isu Christu, I met upon Donimo. Having remembered all the saints, <laughs> let us again and again in peace pray to the Lord. <laughs> Precious gifts are offered to consecrated. Let us pray to the Lord. Let our loving God rise, receive them, and 
his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May in return, sent upon his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. God, the God who saves, teach us to just love you. Having prayed for the unity of the faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ, our God. So that living a portion of your gifts, so the third conscious may be united to your holy body and to your Christ. Having received the worldly, may we have Christ dwelling in our hearts, and may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord our God, let none of us be guilty before you and these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirmed in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us even up to our last breath to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily, as pro provisions for eternal life and as for acceptable defense of the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who through all the ages have been well-pleasing to you, may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. Que cataxia son imans des putamente parisia sa catacritos polmane picalis dese. Tu repurani un teon patera que leigi. Paderimon, oenis iranis, parias dir donomasum, el tehebe vasilias, que en fin te felimasum, o segura non que indigies, un arto ni monte ni biosium, dos sin insimeron, que afes y minta o filima taimon, Ως και εμείς αφήμεν τους φιλέτες ημών, και εμείς την έγκης ημάς εστιασμών, αλλά λύσε ημάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you all. Aske philosimon to kirio clino man. O Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads before you. Distance them from every evil deed. Lead them to every good work and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace and mercy and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place on high and the throne of your kingdom. You who are enthroned on high with the Father and also invisible presently here among us now, come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. May God be good. Proskoman Taia Tisaiis the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Great question.
and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. <coughs> Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Amen. <laughs> 
Sunday school and young people come up. Had a girl. Had a girl. That's a good spot. You guys come a little closer. When the altar boys are afraid of me, come in. Well, good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Good. Do you guys know what Sunday this is during Lent, what we celebrate today? Yes. Okay, one of these Sundays, right? Yes, which Sunday? Uh, what? Sunday of the Jurassic Park? No. No. <laughs> Today's Sunday, we remember St. Mary of Egypt. And her icon is right over there. Right where, where, where Mr. Levanos is, right above his head is St. Mary of Egypt. Because he's very much like her. He lives that kind of a holy life. Right over there where Mr. Levanos is. Mr. Levanos, can you raise your hand? Nick? That's St. Mary of Egypt right there. And she's a skinny, kind of worn down old person. And the story of St. Mary, listen very closely to this. When she was a young girl, she was not a very good girl. She did a lot of things wrong, and she did, yeah, she did a lot of very, very bad things. And she didn't leave, believe in Jesus or anything, and she, did a, she didn't listen to her parents, and she did a lot of things wrong, things we can't even talk about. And, yeah, she was wild, right? <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> did she eat anything? She probably ate anything she wanted to. She just didn't, she, she never fasted. But you know, one day, a bunch of people were going into church. And as they were going in, she said, I want to go in there too. And as she tried to walk in, something stopped her. There was nothing in front of her. And she didn't know what it was. But as she tried to walk in the door, she wasn't able. And people are passing right by her going in. And she feels something holding her back, but she can't see anything. And then she tries a second time. And then she tries a third time, and she still can't get in the church. You know who it is? Who is it? It's Jesus or God or maybe one of the angels stopping her from going in. And she looks inside in, in the church, and she sees an icon of Panagia, of the Virgin Mary. And she realizes... I've lived such a bad life. I've lived such a bad life. And she was only about 17 years old at this point that God is not letting me even enter the church. And she started crying. And she said, if you'll only let me come in and kiss your cross and kiss the icon of Panagia, I'll go wherever you want me to go and I'll do whatever you want me to do. Because I realize what I've done wrong by not listening to my parents and not listening to you, I can't even come into church. Because she left her parents when she was about 12 years old. She didn't want to listen to her parents anymore. Do you think that was a smart thing to do? She couldn't even walk into the church. So what do you think that's a message for us, that what we should do? 
when we remember her because she did a lot <coughs> excuse me, of amazing things afterwards. And we're going to talk about it with our adults later on. She actually went into the desert and prayed and fasted and became very, very, very holy, always asking God to forgive us. So what are some of the things that we can learn from this, yeah, Ivory? I had a girl, always respect God and Jesus and all his things. And who else do we, should we always respect and listen to? Panayia, and who else? Who is, who is, you know, Jesus tells us that we need to listen to him. But he puts people in charge of us for a little bit of time because he's not here physically with us to take care of us, watch over us. And he says to us, listen to them the same way you listen to me. Our parents, yeah. And, and trust me, I know it's, it's, it's not easy raising parents, right? And it's kind of hard raising them. But we have to listen to them every now and then, most of the time. Because they're in charge of us, because Jesus gave them charge of us. That means they are kind of like, well, they are. My dad is my priest at home, right? My dad is like Jesus at home. I need to listen to him. He's the one that Jesus put in charge over me. <clears throat> and mommy is there to take care of me too. I need to listen to mommy. Jesus put her in charge of me. So, so important that we listen to them. But if we don't listen to God and don't listen to Jesus, what could happen to us? Now, stop for a second. Think about it. If Mary... Because of what she did wrong before she asked God for forgiveness, if she couldn't walk inside the church, what do you think that te teaches us? That where else was she not going to walk inside? Yes. You forgot? If she couldn't get inside the church, where else do you think she's not going to get into? Come on, altar boys. Oh, heaven. Yeah. What a great example for us. Right? So we always have to remember, yes, he did. Yeah, we don't want to go there, right? But she realized what she did wrong and wanted forgiveness, which is so important that each and every one of us, as we get closer and closer to Pascha, that we ask God for forgiveness that we maybe go to confession. Or we ask mommy and daddy to forgive us and our friends to forgive us and everybody to forgive us. And we try our hardest to be good boys and girls, especially listening to mom and dad, especially praying and asking for forgiveness all the time. And she's the best example for us. Yes, you want to finish up? Okay, so you guys stay up here, and we're going to receive communion now together, okay? All right. Again? Again, yeah. Que ta forme tout est au piste et aux carapis, procède there with the fear of God, with faith and with love. Draw near.
to ele o sadu alleluia en hiri krante ai kembrachi o ni ipsilon alleluia o ti istone o το ελεό σα του αλληλούια. Το καταδιελώνει την ερυθράν θάλασσαν ει διέρεση. Αλληλούια. Ότι στον αιώνα το έλεο σα του αλληλούια. Και διαγιαγιώνει τον Ισραήλ δια μέσου αυτή αλληλούια. Ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Και εκ την άξαντη φαραώ και την δύναμη να χτουείς τα λάσσαν ερήθραν αλληλούια. Ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Το διαγιώνει τον λαόν αυτού εν διέρη μου αλληλούια. Ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Το πατάξαν τη βασιλείς με άλλους αλληλούια ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Και αποκτήναν τη βασιλείς κρατέους αλληλούια ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Τον Σιόν βασιλέα των αμωρέων, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Και δώνει τη γην αυτών κληρονομίαν, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Κληρονομίαν Ισραήλ δουλόπτου, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. Ότι εν ταπεινώστη ημών εμνήστη ημών ο Κύριος, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεωσα του αλληλούια. 
Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly, and life-giving awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our God. We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your holy and most pure and mortal heavenly mysteries which you have granted to us for the benefit, sanctification, healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, by the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ, may become for us also faith and shame, love and fame, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and acceptable defense of the judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you do we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who bless you and praise those who, and those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church and sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who have placed our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you do we give thanksgiving, worship, honor, and glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, no, my dear. 
Our memorial today is a three-year memorial for Kate Burliotis, offered by Peter Burliotis, Barbara Macris, and Eileen Baffin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Evloito si kiria didaxon meta dike omatasu. Blessed Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. I am an image of you in heaven, O Lord, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. Take pity on me, the works of your hands, Master, and cleanse me by your compassion. Grant me the desired homeland for which I long, making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Give rest, O God, unto the soul of your servant, and place her in paradise, where the choirs of the saints and the righteous shall shine like the stars of heaven. To your servant that is sleeping now, do you give rest, overlooking all of her sins and transgressions? <laughs> Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh for the salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, poo and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. With the saints give rest, O Christ, in the soul of your servant Kate, where there is no pain, nor sorrow, nor sighing, but only life everlasting. 
Perfect in faith, give rest, O oh, our Savior, to the souls of your servant. Preserve her in that blessed life which is with you, O lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you, O El God, who descended into Hades, loosen the pains of those who were held captive. Rest also, O Savior, to the soul of your servant, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most pure and holy, spotless virgin, you who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the souls of your servant. And we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Kate, and for forgiveness of her every sin, both voluntary and involuntary. soul rest with the righteous repose the mercies of God the forgiveness of her every sin let us ask of Christ our immortal King and God <laughs> Let us pray to the Lord. O God of all spirits and of all flesh, you who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give rest to the soul of your departed handmaiden Kate in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment. From where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. As a good and loving God, please forgive every sin that she had committed in thought, word, or deed. For there's no one who lives and does not sin. 
You alone are without sin, O Lord our God, and your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed handmaiden, Kate, O Christ our God. And to you do we offer a glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear sister, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear sister, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. our God and our whole glory to you. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead as a good and loving merciful God have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of the most pure holy mother of the power of the precious and life-giving cross through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist the holy glorious and praiseworthy of the apostles of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs and our God-bearing fathers, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Saint the Venerable Ionarios, the martyr, and Saint Mary of Egypt, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. morning. So before we begin our announcements and so forth of the week, I'd like to share just a little more on a little more grown-up level, the life of St. Mary of Egypt, who again is sitting over, uh, over to the right of us in, in a very thin, frail-looking uh, uh, icon or image. If you see her many times, she's very beaten down, withered clothing, if anything at all. So Mary, as I told the little ones, left her parents <coughs> and began this life of immorality right around 12, 13 years old. 
And throughout her teenage years, she was nothing more what we'd call today a party girl, sleeping with everybody and anybody at all times. Not a very good Arab girl, or not a great young Greek girl that we would think, raised in a family, right? Not living the way she's supposed to be living. Matter of fact, to the point where she just enjoyed seducing young boys and men. And she enjoyed this party life so much that one day, as she sees this group coming by and they're going down to Jerusalem, she wants to go with them. Where's the party, right? She gets on the boat, she doesn't have any money. She just figures, I'll do like I always do. I'll seduce my way and get my payments made through whatever I need to do. Her whole life is lived in this very seductive, very sexual, very lustful, very sinful manner. <clears throat> so as these pilgrims are about to enter into the Church of the Holy Sepulchre on the day of the veneration of the Holy Cross, St. Mary just figures I'm going along with the party. And as she tries to enter the church three times, she is stopped by a force that she cannot see. And obviously it's God not allowing her to enter into the, into the church. And seeing the, the, the portrait of the Virgin Mary, the, the figure of her purity, she just feels something for, from within the church. She can see that and she knows why the people are going in there. They told her we're going to venerate the cross of Christ. <coughs> Obviously, she's heard of Christ. And she realizes, looking at the icon of Panaia, how extremely unpure her life is, how extremely sinful her life has been. And she's so convicted that she falls down weeping, asking God in Panaia, please forgive me. Please forgive my life. Please forgive everything I've done, and whatever you ask of me, I will do to earn your forgiveness. So she begs Panaya to present this also to her son. And as she stands, she feels that she can go in and she is permitted to enter the church. She kisses the cross of Christ. She venerates the icon of Panaya, And she receives a voice from heaven telling her to go into the desert and work out her salvation. On her way out, she stops and she's baptized in a church. She receives Holy Communion. She takes three loaves of bread with her. What legend tells us. I know we have a lot going on today. This is one of my favorite saints. So you're going to live through her story. And it's Holy Lent, right? Back for it for a second. We've got this venerable monk, Zosimos, who is extremely skilled in monasticism. Best of the best. <clears throat> and he, he, he's constantly trying to find out how to better himself as a monk. And he hears a, a message from God saying, go down to the monastery by the Jordan. By the Jordan River. And there you will find instruction beyond instruction that you've ever received. So here's this guy who everybody was looking to for instruction on how to be a good monk. Going to seek his own uh, uh, instruction to how to become a better monk. And he goes to the monastery and tells them, I was so, and they said, welcome, Father, but I'm sure we're going to learn from you. You're not going to learn from us, as the humility of monks are. And he stays there a while, and as they begin their normal practice of getting ready for great and holy Lent, at the beginning, they're to take a little bit, whatever they can carry with them or the, what they need, to sustain them <clears throat> for 40 days in the desert until Holy Week. <clears throat> and they all disperse into the desert. Obviously, Mary's been out there for a while now. We'll shoot back to Mary now. Zosimos, being the great monk he is, is kind of farther into the desert than most. And he sees a figure, he doesn't know what it is. And so he keeps thinking, maybe this is that monk that I was told I will gain 
the insight from. And he runs chasing after, can't catch up, and yells, why are you running away from me, a sinner? Oh, holy man of God, please wait for me. Instruct me, I beg of you. Finally, Mary stops and says, Zosimos, please come no further, for I am a sinful woman, and I have no clothes on. But if you must speak to me, please just send me, shh, throw me your cloak. Zosimos amazed, as hopefully many of us are. How does she know my name? Throws her his cloak, she puts it on, and he stands before her asking for her for a blessing. She says, no, I need your blessing. No, you bless me. No, you bless me. You're the priest of God that stands before the altar, praying for everyone's sins and handling the gifts and giving communion. You must pray for me. You must bless me. And so he blesses her, and he asks her for her blessing as well. I'm not going to give you the long version, but you're going to get the semi-long version. He asks her about her life, and he wants to know about her. And she doesn't want to recount this life, obviously. <coughs> but obviously there was a reason for this. And there was a reason for Zosimos. And there's a reason for what Mary did. That we need to know what the life of this incredible saint was. That it be passed down from generation to generation of the amazing depth of her humility and what she would do to repent of her evil ways. So she tells Osimos about her life, and she says for the first 17 years, 17 years that she was tormented by the demons. Any of us who have gone through that struggle with going to confession and afterwards, or maybe may have not lived the most perfect life, we are constantly bombarded with memories of the past, with the things I've done wrong, even the things I've confessed. Because the demons and the devil are so ugly, they don't want us to repent. And so it could only be imaginable what demons attacked her for 17 years while she struggled, demons of food, demons of lust, demons of on and on and on, to try and make her stumble. But she ended up living in the desert for some 47 years. Can imagine. But for 17 years, the exact amount of years that she was alive in the world, by the way. But after that, it was different. And she continued to live the life out there but for 17 years, cruelly attacked by demons. And then she told him many other things, many of the things that were going wrong in the monastery where he was staying and how they could fix that. And Zosimos is again amazed, how does she know these things? And her depth of her, her wisdom and knowledge of scripture, which she had never read before but by the depth of the Holy Spirit so dwelling in her, recognizing her true change and true purity. Right? We don't judge what the past was. Once God has purified a soul, it can be a virgin again, virginally clean and beautiful. <clears throat> so she asked him, please return on Holy Thursday and give me Holy Communion. And they go to the banks of the Jordan, she was told, to, to, told him to go there and meet him. And as he gets to the bank of the Jordan with Holy Communion, he stops and thinks, I, I don't have a boat, and how is she going to get over here? Or how can I get to her? And he sees her on the other side. And Mary, doing what an amazing saint would do, just walked across the water and received Holy Communion. And she told him, please come back a year from now to the place where you met me so that I can receive again. A year later, he went back and he found her lying down, realizing he never even asked her her name because he was so excited about this holy person he met and what he learned. And they are inscribed in the, in, 
in the sand was, here lies Mary, the sinful woman. Please bury my body, holy Zosimos. I know that I passed from this life the very day that you gave me communion a year ago, but her body is still fully intact. Tradition and tells us that a lion was sent to dig down and, and bear the grave so that Zosimus could, because he had nothing to dig into the ground, but that a lion came and dug up the sand. Please, I encourage you, go online. There's, there's videos of St. Mary of Egypt. They're not done real well. Poor acting. But there's a lot of great uh, testimonials and, and stories and um, <coughs> the full story of her life. Great reading during Lent. What else would we be doing during Lent, right? Great thing to be doing during Lent. So read the life of St. Mary of Egypt. But let's apply that real quickly to our lives. It's the same thing that I mentioned to our young people today. Well, of course, if she couldn't enter the church, well, then she definitely wasn't entering the kingdom. And I asked our, our young people on Friday night in Family Fridays, Lent and Family Fridays, said, what does that mean to us? Why aren't we given that message from God sometimes? I, I don't, I'm, let's be happy that we don't have the message that we're not allowed to walk inside church. That's not a very good one. But why don't we have this epiphany from God? Hey, you listen, you're doing good or you're not doing good. Or I need you to do this and whatever. Or do we? And we just don't follow or recognize them. I am a firm believer. Yes, we sure do but we just don't follow and recognize them. And do we need that great epiphany for ourselves? Christ told Thomas, blessed are those who believe and not see. A lot was required of Thomas for being able to touch Christ's hand. A lot was required of Mary for giving or being given the opportunity not to enter the church and the voice from heaven telling her what to do. For those who much has been given, much will be required. So maybe we should wait a second before we ask for this sign from God. But God knew exactly that she was able and was willing and capable and had the depth of character to do what she did so they could be an example for all of us. No, I don't want to go out into the desert for 47 years by myself with no food, only a little bit of bread. I can barely make it 49 days with no, no meat, dairy, and, and eggs. Okay? No, I don't want to go through being crucified because I touched, I wanted to touch your button and see you. And I don't want to go through a lot of what those martyrs did. I don't know if I'm capable of them, and I'm sure I'm not, and that's why the Lord's not giving that to me. <coughs> I'm not as strong as they are. But I need to follow their lifestyles in order to become stronger. I need to learn about their lives to encourage me to become stronger. This is precisely, the, this life of Mary was not meant for Mary alone. It's meant for each and every one of us to realize what is it that's maybe, maybe not keeping me from entering the church, but what might it be that's keeping me from entering the kingdom of heaven? Ultimately, what's keeping me from joining myself to Christ, from really giving myself over to him? What is it that's stopping me, and am I prepared to let it go, like Mary did, and just leave it? realizing that it's nothing and it's not important and to turn my life back over to God. He's not asking us to go into a desert. He's just asking us to go into the desert of our hearts and empty ourselves and be in the world and be examples for each other. He's asking us once in a while to take on a rule of fasting, a rule of prayer, to serve the poor. So as we, as we enter, and in, in the, in the beauty of the church giving us this amazing, incredible woman from Egypt, nice Arab girl, no, not Greek, as an example of what it means 
to really love God and to really seek forgiveness, to really want him. We've got real, literally two more weeks until Pascha, one more week of great Lent. What a great opportunity for us to look at that life of Mary of Egypt and say, yeah, I don't need to go in a desert, but I can do this. I can take on what the remainder of Lent is. I can deny myself a little bit and hopefully grow closer to Christ. Thank you for your example. And thank you that it wasn't for just you, but for me also. <coughs> so today we have our blood drive, one way of giving back, right? We receive the body and blood of Christ. No better way they're offering our thanks than by giving blood to those who are in need. We've said it every single year. I keep saying it, and I'll say it over and over again. There may be that little phobia in your head that I'm, you know, I'm not allowed to bleed right now after I gave, received communion. Nonsense, right? You are given the gift of his blood, and your blood is needed. Our blood is needed. So please, if you're able to, all you're doing is exactly what Christ did for you, right? You're giving blood back, right, in need. So if you're able to give blood, please sign up if you haven't. Uh, our Tsureki sale is on. If you haven't uh, bought your Tsureki yet, please do so. Um, I think there's be a table inside, correct? Uh, Palm Sunday bake sale is coming up. Is it today? It's going to be, a, it's on, on Palm Sunday. It's not, not for Palms. Okay. Um, end of year di dinner will be on the patio on Thursday, May 21st. We have our men's night coming up as well. Uh, we have our philopt our, our um, go to philopticos table for more details on that for RSVP. We have our Palm Sunday um, luncheon next week. All are invited. It's a free luncheon offered by by our parish to everyone who's here. <coughs> um, <clears throat> next Saturday, April twenty seventh, after Saturday of Lazarus liturgy, uh, we're asking everyone to please come. And give us a hand, uh, bring whatever you may have, uh, cleaning utensils, uh, buckets, cleaning material. We're going to be cleaning up the church, beautifying our church for Holy Week. And we really need everyone's help. This is one way that we come together as a parish. Um, we don't only just give a little donation. You know, this parish is, is run by people. And then each and every one of us are the people, are the faithful. This is God's home. This is where we come. This is our sanctuary. And whereas we need everyone to come make it a little easier for those who do show up. Uh, as many of you who are free, please come and help us next Saturday to clean up. We're gonna be cleaning up the grounds outside, inside, the altars, everywhere. So please, if you can offer yourself a little bit of time, that'd be wonderful. Um, Holy Week services can be found in the bulletin. Father Elias this week is down at, at uh, St. Nicholas for the first liturgy of, of Bishop Nectarios, newly ordained. The Chancellor, the National Chancellor, he's down there, a very good friend. Today is, who was ordained yesterday, uh, was Father Anthony Brame, Brame now uh, Bishop Anthony Brame. He's celebrating his first liturgy uh, in New Rochelle today at our sister church at, at Holy Trinity. So, oxios to the both of them. Uh, anybody who's here for the first time? Someone said they were here from out of town. Where are you? Nobody here for the first time? Okay. Are we doing, they were doing an Easter egg hunt uh, for young couples and families next Saturday. Okay, so anybody who has kids, please bring your kids after church. We're gonna have an Easter egg hunt. Any birthdays? Any milestone, anythings? Anniversaries? What's that? My name day? No, we don't celebrate. My name day is on, on April 23rd, but obviously we don't celebrate to the day after. But you can call and wish me happy name day on the 23rd as well. Um, that's it. Okay. God bless. Have a blessed day. And uh, we'll see everyone inside.
Yeah. <laughs> 